It is a great pleasure to present our next speaker, Dr. Theodakis, Managing Director, ex-RTC, Business Consultant, and now supporter of Financial Control. <laughs> Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Olita. Uh, first of all, let me start a bit, not the usual way that I started. Uh, I have a round like uh, some uh, top singers are doing in the world when they say the speech or the concert around of uh, mid-time, as they say in the past, but it was a world uh, concert uh, round or whatever. So I'm so happy that uh, in this round uh, here has come to in Greece, but not in China or in Europe or in the States, to give a speech to friends. Usually look, I am with Rubin Mikhail, so with the uh, Rubin around. Uh, now I'm with uh, both of them and with many other of you. Uh, I have a habit also to dedicate my speeches, in particular when it concerns about, uh, when it concerns about shipping and when it uh, is uh, being offered in Greece. So this time, together with my team, Katerina Fitch and Dmitry Dmitriad, we decided to dedicate this speech to the lost 40 plus young children that they passed away uh, during a train accident in Egypt. That was a really, really a shock for us. Uh, I remind you that we have been working about five years with the Ministry of Transport in Egypt, and in a similar uh, uh, tragedy, happened that the minister, the North Minister at that time, he resigned. But, of course, it's not a matter of politicians, it's a matter of infrastructure. And I hope that no one in any other country will feel another tragedy like this. It is painful and deadly on the spot with it in this awful. So, in any case, if Captain Kosadakopoulos was going to be alive, he was going to force all of us to speak in Greek. This is my answer to you all, and this is why now, in the absence of uh, lay passages of the populace, we can speak in English sometimes in this uh, conference. Otherwise, you would have had a translator, so we said what we are saying. All right. So, can the rock bottom be softened? This is the issue. And this is what bouncing means. What do you think about it? Okay. What is our vision? In order to receive a mission, it is the general that is talking. Success is how high you bounce. When uh, success is how high you bounce when you hit bottom. Wrote George Patton. Simple matters. There we are. Sitting is under seats. Yes. Seats. The seat. Whatever it is, it is under when you're here. <laughs> so according to Wikipedia, it still occurs when an attacker encounters a city or fortress that cannot be easily taken by a coup de main and refuses to surrender. However, the city was not attacked by a coup de main, but refused to surrender. No one came suddenly and tell you that here, now, today, you, have, you are going to have a crisis. We knew it from from the party times. We knew it from, well from 2006, 2007, 2008, even before Lehman Brothers, and we were expecting it. It was not sudden for us, and we are prepared. Not only the Greeks, all the city people. Okay. So, the city financing at the pre uh, as I'm the second uh, speaker, distinguished, as they said, uh, Think about uh, city financing. I'm telling you one thing: that city financing is almost in the, in the rock bottom. What is city financing? Because you know, for the for the journalist, it's very easy to write about the capital markets and about the listed companies just because they are more transparent or they are releasing this uh, uh, nice uh, press release every every quarter, every month, or uh, in any development. But mainly, 
shipping financing and shipping in, and shipping financing is coming from the banks and not from the capital markets. We have as well the private equity, which is another big contributor to what we call the big basket of investments within shipping. Here you can see how important are the banks for the market. <coughs> Certainly, I'm not, I'm not having any problems with the capital market. To the contrary, as you know, I'm in two different uh, uh, shipping uh, companies that are listed in uh, U.S. stock exchanges. But certainly, the big weight of the financial shipping is coming from the banks. And here is what is happening with the global marine finance volume. Look at the mountain of 2007 and 2008, how we reached this million and billion of dollars that were given to shipping uh, companies to build their to conclude their own building uh, programs, to fill up uh, the that welcome. <laughs> Uh, and how we reached the bottom in uh, 2000, I mean in 2008, when it started actually the real crisis. Of course, with two effects. One is that the reduction of the money is borrowed by the Greek, uh, by the shipping uh, companies, and the other the number of things. And certainly, another big key it was the syndication market. But as far as if we, we see all the machines working together, we have, as we said, the equity, the bonds that contribute to the investments. Look at what's happening. It's another important change. A shifting of the power from the west to the east. If you can see, for instance, is the, the, the red are the Asian uh, capital markets and the blue are the European and US capital markets, mainly US capital markets. Look at from the equity side how much the Asian markets increased almost triple their exposure within one year only, and if we have the statistics for 2012, it's going to be much higher. And at the same time, where the bond market is monitored mainly by the U.S. It's not quite very much as a dollar economy. We can get a real dollar to dollar. Hello. Hello. Where's my phone? The main thing is that we listen to them. So we have a reduction of 28 percent for European and U.S. capital markets, and we have an increase of 52 percent for Asian capital markets. This is another big trend. And the number of banks. More or less, they remain the same as they used to be in the last case, the big shipping banks. We have 40. But many things have, have happened with these banks. But if you can see now today who is giving money to shipping globally, and I'm not talking about Greek shipping, again, it goes somehow 30 years ago or 27 years ago. When we have Japanese banks heading the list, the first time after so many years that we have Mujo, we have Sumitomo, we have Mitsubishi, uh, in the top ten list, Wells Fargo has, is again into the picture. Uh, if you remember in the past, we were, were monopolized by European banks. Now you have Americans and Japanese again. Right? Americans and Japanese. Another fact is the mountain of spreads. Most of the big names, and not most, most of the middle and big names in the market, even in Greece, they never thought signing a loan with less, with margin of more than 1% 10 years ago. Now there is not even a thing about a a such a small, a small, a small uh, margin. The margins of the banks has increased by 300, 400, even 500 percent for the same companies, for new loans. Therefore, there is, the sky is the limit. 
is increasing, is increasing, is increasing. Of course, there are some big names or whatever, but it's not somehow in the middle of this there. But, uh, uh, but there are others that they have to follow, because otherwise they, have, they don't have to follow the failed margins. They are going to just fall down, lacking of liquidity. What has changed since the financial crisis? In the run-up 2007, some banks used to use the wholesale markets to source a proportion of their deposits that they lent to businesses. Money was relatively inexpensive. From 2008, with the dramatic freezing of the wholesale markets, this source of money proved much less attractive. The East has increased demand for other, more traditional banking sources, such as retail deposits. In turn, it has increased the cost of banks, raising banks to lend. Banks have also been asked by regulators to raise, raise deposits over longer terms that they have historically and before greater liquidity buffers against unforeseen circumstances. This nice name, Basiliki, that we call in Greece, and you know, it is wonderful, and we have the Basiliko, the, the plants, and it smells. The puzzle 1, 2, 3, 4, whatever, the puzzle 69 is going to blow, bomb the market. Anyway, here we are. If someone asks you where is the debt in shipping, is a piggy box in the middle of the ocean surrounded by sharks. And someone has to be very, very clever to go on top of this and get one penny. And everybody is trying to stay, uh, stay afloat. These are the phases. What is happening? What has happened? Why we reach this point? First step, it was the crisis in 2008, in September. Then shock. <coughs> Fear. Awful situation. Then, after the shock, we have the first distraction request. Those instructions in the request discussed in February 2009, they continue for about nine months, and we have the first phase of instruction. Then we have a better and optimistic market the first quarter of 2010, and many of us, great supporters mainly, and great bankers believe that something is going to happen good. We have some new, the new orders made in the first quarter and the second quarter, but of course the progress is going to be better for me. Then, in September 2010, we have the realization for deeper and larger restructions. Again, the market went down. Then, we reached the second phase of restructuring in 2011. And now, where we are? In the absolute stagnation. We are in equation. We are in the third phase of restructuring, or on the sale of our portfolios, the bank. Do the bank so fatigue from the long period since Lehman Brothers collapsed? That's the question. Look at what it happened. Full of bombs. Passing three regulations. Banks top management perception. If you go as a city financier to the top manager to say that we have to support the little Greek ship owner that he has given us so much money over the last 20 years, the top manager is going to tell you if you know something. The government, the European, uh, the European Commission is telling me to support the people, to warm up the local economies. What are you talking about now? This big tycoon or Nazis and Nyatos, etc. I don't want to say about names that they are currently in the league of the market. Increased cost of funding. We spoke about it. Distressed fund, Ashla. You know, all these distressed guys are going around and say, they knock the doors of the bank and say, hey, I want to buy your portfolio, I want to buy this, I want to buy the other. Supporters liquidity decreased. Don't think that the supporters that they make money, so much money, as we said, in 2000, in the, in the, in the high cycle, between 2000 and 2008, they get all their money, they have placed the money. Whether they in some stocks, in real estate, in every place, somewhere. All these assets, the, the, the value has decreased significantly. And of course, we have the sitting cyclicality syndrome, 
θα non δεν υπάρχει σαν να δεστέν, αλλά θα specialize like the meat of myself. Σαν μάθος δεν καλό θα δεστέν. Δώσ' να τελευταία ένα άσυπο κακόνα. And the medical sector. And this is the issue. What is the effect? Effect number one. Do you remember Margarita? I love you, you love me. Huh? Is that what you remember it? Huh? Can you combine that you are older than me? But eh, better, eh? Huh? So this is the plucking, plucking the daisy flower it was not easy for me to find the English way. So thanks to the, the guys in our home. The last thing I brought up, the last thing I missed, 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 the last Look at what's happening in Syria. Pass. Look at how such a big taste flower. Margarita. Margarita is used to the alcohol, right? I think in the British people are going to get it. All right. So how many banks are in there? Next step. Less the banks that are seized or pulled out. Look at the difference. Look, look, look. Okay? And now, less the inactive parts. But don't believe that all of them that they are here are active. They just come to the conferences and they say, no, still, we can't give. We can't give, we can't give. But where they can give? Only to the existing clients and only to the major existing clients that they have put parts in the bank. This is mainly the situation. So, look at what has happened to our uh, day's flower. It is almost half, and most probably in the future, if we continue like this, it's going to be nothing. Effect number two. Who is the wife that we say is sitting market? Or it works? Who is going to be? Certainly, it's not going to be white. <laughs> Most probably, it will be either Japanese or mainly Chinese, even if it's a Greek one, Chinese, I'm telling you. You can see, I mean, it's very easy for you to understand that from the left side is China, nobody knew this, eh? and from the right is Japan. More aristocratic than Japan, you can see there. Other type of weapons. Effect number three. What are the banks are doing now? So, they try to maintain their relations. If they have small budgets, they are serving existing major clients. They are preparing themselves for the wars to come. And simply they issue strategy, divisions try to keep their business running, while some others they will grow. But the most important is that they are busy with restructurings. Therefore, restructuring division is the new shipping police, is the new shipping division. <laughs> and ultimately, the nice, handsome shipping guy like the makers of myself has become the Skazokios that has to try to save its life. The incense of the destruction is to provide flexibility to the ship owners, to manage their assets and to the prevailing market conditions in order for the business to be an ongoing concern. The danger still is ahead. You see the answers, you see the staff as well. <coughs> what has been done in order to avoid repeating instructions? Certainly the first and most important thing is to clear bank strategy offering long-term commitment to the sector. How we can do this if we adapt the last three? Close monitoring of the relationship with clients. 
they, the banks now, they have to be every day next to their supporters to understand what's going to happen, not tomorrow, but in the next month. And at the same time, the bank, the, the owners, they have to make banks understanding what's going to happen next month. This is what we call transparency. And above all, we have to go back to the principles of what is credit, is trust. What will happen should the banks cease the restructuring? Liquidation. When liquidation? In a full market, you can see how many sec the second hand sales. Nothing. Look at the, the volume. Total vessel sales. How it went down. Look at the number of sales. Therefore, thunder actions should be avoided. Otherwise, everybody's going to lose. There is still, and it is very important, we are not coming here just to see and write in your CV the young people that you are here from ICS that you were in this conference only, but all of us, we have to have something in our mouth. And we have to show something to the global market. The global banking regulators and governments to address international city financing as exception in their important regulatory restrictions. Shipping is not yachting, is not Uzo dreaming as the uh, Sirak was saying 10 to 12 years ago, is risk. And above all, is a, is, a, is, is a necessity for the world economy. And all of us, bankers, ship owners, lawyers, both brokers or whatever, have to have this in their mind. Allow banks to find through these regulations to find amicable solutions with their clients in order for both parties to bridge the travel waters. Otherwise, it was a thunder. An industry that leaves the supply chain is an industry worth fighting for. Shipping in an Aquinoa Gato. An Aquinoa Gato. Shipping has to be supported. It's not only receptions in Posidonia and in Norway and in China. If the ships will stop, most of the people they won't have to eat, most of the people they won't have to be hit to hit their homes, most of the people they won't be happy or they will be miserable. And this is the message that I want to pass from here. And if you want to answer, can the rock bottom be softened? Certainly, it can. How? When ship owners and banks could bounce high if together. And you can see the Latina, the springs under there, the dollars. If those two things, those, those two people, they will bounce together, then they can manage a lot of things. Thank you very much.